about 18 months later, I was transferred in the central office to set up a whole heap of programs and fund programs for what they call at-risk kids. How do schools prepare kids for the workplace? Um, and so I was fortunate there, and I lasted there three years as a consultant, um, and then went back to the schools and um, set up a program myself for kids who just weren't coping. And we identified them at the end of year eight, and we did a program in year nine and ten with them. And I had them for probably six of their ten subjects. Okay. And we focused it around what we call citizenship education. So the kids only came to school for three and a half days a week. Now, this is back in 1986, 87. Pretty new stuff. But they were in grade nine and ten. They were doing community service. They were doing, they had to have a part-time job. Um, really kind of pushed them into that whole area of, of re realism. Mm -hmm. We did a 10-day outward bound with them. Okay. Where they had to kind of carry all their food with them for 10 days. And if mm. they ran out of food, bad luck. Yeah. So it was really... So that's um, real life experience, real absolutely. learning, different ways of learning. And that's one of the ways we learn is to... Yeah. To like, like, and we and I mentioned it earlier about we learn as kids, yeah, you know, doing. by yeah. doing, and that's one of the ways that yeah. these kids do actually learn. You say they're bright, but there's kids there that the system seems geared for visual and auditory learners, yeah, yeah, those yeah. that need to see things or hear things, and yeah, very analytical learners. Mm. Um, it's 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 set up for a particular sort of kid and it leaves a lot of kids behind. So, you talk about. Uh, on your videos and on your websites and webinars, the left and right hand side of the brain and how important that is to feed both sides because because yep. that's where the boredom actually occurs for one or the other. It is. It, 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 you've got to cater because we're all the VAKT. Yep. We all have attributes of it. There is a dominant attribute of how we learn. Yes. But at the end of the day, your whole approach is if you cater for an individual and all those features to an individual, you're going to cater to everyone in the room. And you're going to help the individual as well mm. because you hit the whole four. Yes. Um, I would also say the same thing with left and right brain. Mm -hmm. um, it, and we're talking now about the plasticity of the brain. It's not just saying we're all left or we're all right. We mm. use both. Yes. Um, but it's knowing ideas like, and particularly for the learner, if the learner knows how they learn. Yes. Like I'm kinesthetic, so I have to have practical examples. So if I say, if I'm missing something, I'll say, give me a practical example. What's the meaning practice? As soon as they've said that, I've got it. Yes. It's the same with left and right brain. You know, if I'm a right brain person, I'm very, they're very creative. They've got lots of ideas, but mm -hmm. they find it very hard to focus on a, a particular subject or a particular idea because their mind's all over the place. So S things like colour can be powerful for those mm -hmm. kids. Mm -hmm. It can really help them kind of focus in. Um, for those right brain, getting home at night, doing your homework with tech, really good text to colour pens, using your music. Like a lot of times mm. we hear people say, oh, "How can you study with music on?" A lot of people can. There are studies that show that white noise or music or background noise increases concentration for some people. For some people, yep. and and it helps some people sleep. Yeah. So it has a soothing effect, and it's to do with um, it. It's it's a subconscious focus. It's not conscious. Even though the noise is there, it's almost like it has a counselling out effect or a yes. filtering effect. Yes, yes, very, mm. much, very much so. For some people. Some which, people don't need it. Which uh, one of your room. methodologies is in the room when you're having people engage in conversation or, or group yep. work? You'll play music. And and you said that's you do that when they come into a room so that there's noise. So it's often that's an early engager. Yep, yep. That's, 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 it's, I think my... Big thing was that when you, particularly with adults, if you're doing training with adults or, or, or education adults, when they come into the training room, the room's got to say this could be different, because people come in with these preconception ideas like that knowledge trap before. I'm right. How can you teach me? I've been at this game for umpteen years. What am I going to learn today? I've been sent by my boss. They're and or they're expecting an experience yeah. that they've had a million times million before, times and they're before. just going, oh, this is going to be the same. We're just going to be, someone's going to stand up in front of us, and they're just going to yeah. tell us yeah. everything. And I could read it in a book. Yeah, well, you ask a tradie how many induction programs they've been to. You know, they can mm. have 20, 30, 40 induction programs, you yeah. know. So when they come in, the room's got to say, this could be different. Oh, mm -hmm. something's going on here. And that sparks the razz ah, as well. Sparks the razz, sparks a sense of curiosity. Yes. Um, and it gets people mentally in the room. So yes. Mentally ready to learn. And music can help do that. Oh, for sure. But mm -hmm. when they first move in, have some good music going, 
So it just breaks the atmosphere up a bit for people. Thanks for taking time to watch this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you smash that subscribe button and also hit the bell button to get notified when new interviews are uploaded. Once again, thanks for joining us and hopefully we'll see you again sometime. Catch you later.